Hi everybody, welcome to Patty Puckett Pouring Art. Well, before I get started today, I just wanted to show you a couple of, I think there's six by six on cradled hardwood. Tammy Anderson, I got these at her auction and they're resined. They're absolutely beautiful, perfect resin job. The sides are like perfectly straight. She left the wood natural, which I like. Um, and we try to support each other, artists. This is another one. So pretty. So thank you, Tammy. If you don't subscribe to her, please do. She's an amazing artist and a great teacher. So these are two together. They're cool. Thank you, Tammy. Check her out. I'll have the, her link in the description below. I'll be back. Hi everyone. Hope everyone's doing well today. Um, I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour. In fact, I just did one that I had to scrape. Um, I'm trying to find the right consistency so I can put some colors in the, this, these bottles. I put three colors in the bottle, but I don't want to fill up any more if I don't have the right consistency. And I have to put them in these little cups anyway, so I'm trying to figure that out. I mean, Dutch pours are not the easiest pour to do. Um, the last one I just did, I tried the Creative Inspirations Titanium White, and I really shouldn't have because although I think I had the right consistency of the paints, it didn't turn out, and I'm thinking it's because of that white. So changed over to Artist Loft Flow Acrylic for my base. I already have my base down. And when it comes to this technique, um, I'm no expert, that's for sure, but when you thin your paints down, um, right, what I'm using is about two parts Floetrol, one part tube paint, and about three quarter part H2O or water. So whenever you think they're thin enough, all I gotta say is thin them again. Thin them more. Because thin is the game when it comes to Dutch pours. You don't want to add any more than, what is it, 40% water to paint before it starts breaking down. So I'm trying to get the, the right mixture here and we will see. So the colors I'm using today, I'll, I'm going to just lay a puddle down and then I'm going to blow it out like that. So let's get started. This first color is one of my favorites, Phalo Blue, Creative Inspirations. We have Artist Loft Copper, Sky Blue, Creative Inspirations. This is Payne's Gray with a mixture of Deco Art Metallic Pewter. Basics Magenta, and this is a mixture of three different golds, 24 karat, we got some old gold, and some molten metals Dorado. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out what hair dryer I really want to use here. Mm. Um, I think I'm going to get my old hair dryer out. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just going to use my new one. Had the right nozzle on it. I'm using this nozzle. So let's pour some white around. I want some negative space on this. So I want to make sure that I have a plenty of white for the paint to skid across when I blow it. I'm thinking about how I want to blow this. I'll go ahead and torch it first. Some bubbles going on. No silicone in here. Let me go ahead and blow it over first. All right. Probably didn't even do that right. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, 
So I think I'm going to blow it this way, this way, then this way, then this way. Okay, scary. It's always scary. don't want to. I'm always left with a lot right in the middle. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to have to blow some of this out. I think I'm going to use my other hair dryer for that. This one has a small nozzle on it. that. One thing about Dutch pours, I always overwork them. Always. So I'm trying not to. I like the amount of negative space. Getting some cells in here. actually surprised I'm not getting more cells. I might get more as it sits. I like how it's soft on the edges. Now it's hard for you to see that. I think my consistency is about right, but the problem was the way I blew it. I would have a lot more of this type of cells if I blew it right. All right, here we got we got more cells coming up now. I guess you could see that pretty good. If this light is too bright, let's turn it away a little bit. <clears throat> Getting a lot of cells over here. I think I'm going to leave it. cells at the end there. I wanted something very light on the edges and I got that. I got the negative space I wanted. The cells are forming. And if it changes anymore I'll bring you back. It looks like it might be changing on the edges here. Um, let me clean up the sides. The sides actually look pretty good. So I'll bring you back if it changes. In the meantime, please subscribe. Right down here, push that bell. Also, push the notification, or that push the subscribe button. The notification bell is below. I'll have all the um, information on my, for my social sites. And I have an Etsy shop now. So please check it out. That'll be in the description below if you're on a cell phone or a tablet. The little triangle, push that and it'll bring you down to the description. Anyway, have a nice, great night or day, depending on when you're watching this. 
Take care and keep on pouring. Bye.